Vincentians bring a symbol of God's love to people on our next story. A group of ladies makes crosses just like these and brings them on visits to people who are in need of cheer, compassion, and company. Gene Ramsey has that story from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, about an hour outside of Pittsburgh. That's a pretty one. This is in color, so oh, I should turn it over. Is it that? Well, I guess you're yeah. doing it in color. Vincentian Marianne Cosport and some fellow Vincentians meet weekly in Uniontown, Pennsylvania to pray and sew crosses to share with their neighbors. Handfuls of Mercy is a group of seven very dedicated senior citizen ladies making crosses to distribute to nursing homes, personal care homes, the rehab floor at the hospital, and they also go to the fire department. All the trucks have them, police cruisers have them, and anyone in need, whether they're sickly, depressed, lost a job, they're all welcome to have a cross. Besides the gift of a cross and maybe a prayer card or Bible, these Vincentians give of themselves and their time, and the recipients are appreciative. No matter where we go, we are very well accepted the people are happy to see us. We spend time talking and visiting with them. And they always ask us to please come back. And so we've been to many of the places more than once. We need more stuffing, Rose. The women of Handfuls of Mercy experience the three essential elements of the society, friendship, spirituality, and service through their weekly gatherings. We are fortunate to get the materials we need to Donate it to us. The Holy Spirit's at work there. We get the fabric, we get the stuffing, and we get the thread. And so it's like he wants us to keep doing this. And so we feel spiritually involved, inspirational. We look forward to coming together and, and doing this. Vincentians are happy to share their crosses with the city's first responders, too. When we saw news and we see all the involvement with the police and all the problems they're having, and I happen to have two grandsons, one's in the Navy and the other's a volunteer fireman, it came to me that they can't take these bigger ones with them because they have heavy equipment and their helmets weigh a lot. And I was inspired. I really was inspired to make a mini one which is this size, and it fits in their boot, in their pocket, or in their backpack. And I told my firstborn grandson, Adam, don't you dare go to a fire, an accident, or a drowning without taking the symbol of Jesus with you. He said, sure, Grandma. And they all have them. All the volunteers in our area have the personal ones, and the big ones are in their trucks and in their police cruisers. Marianne and her fellow Vincentians say they discuss spiritual topics while they're working and have all become friends. They feel God has inspired them. For our Faith in Action Today Society of St. Vincent de Paul, I'm Jean Ramsey. Thanks, Jean. The ladies of Handfuls of Mercy have sewn more than 1,700 crosses in two years.